go. Hopefully everything works. We'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. We'll be getting started possibly as soon as I get notification from stream elements in my chat, and I'll explain everything in due time. And so, you know, get ourselves prepared, and you know, we'll get this things going real soon. Like. Meantime, I'll probably play around with the game settings a little bit. I uh, hope the music is good to where it's not too loud, but you know, that's the point where I can still be heard good enough and all that. Hmm, excuse me. Uh, hopefully stream elements doesn't take too long to notify me I'm live, so... I guess this will also probably be a good time for people to possibly come in, if any. Man, I know it's, I know it's a little late as far as my time goes and whatnot, but... Again, I will be explained in due time. If I don't get a notification from stream elements within the 5 minute mark, then I will go ahead and do my intro and stuff and explain everything. Oh, speaking of the devil, there's stream elements in the chat, so I guess I'll do my intro right now. So, hey all my fellow Rumble Maniacs, it's Mr. Rumble Roses here, and welcome to Oh Sir, the Hollywood Roast. Now, I, I kind of want to get this out of the way and mention this right now, but, um, this is supposed to be the week where my scheduling for streams is going to be only just one day for at least this week. Now, the reason why I am doing a stream at this time right now is because, for one, one of my friends who is also one of my mods, uh, he normally is known to be streaming around this time. Or even though he would have started a little, started a little sooner, but uh, apparently due to, due to some personal uh, stuff going on in his neck of the woods, apparently he's not going, he's not going to be streaming tonight or tomorrow night. And and also the second reason why I'm doing a stream is because I wanted to test this game out, see if it, to see if everything goes well for. For future ideas to see if everything you know, works well for a stream and stuff. So, the last time I did a stream of Oh Sir was when I did the Insult Simulator. I did kind of like a big mega finale type of thing where I played through the tournament mode with the remaining characters that I have not really played with to get you know everyone having gold trophies. Now. Well, that game pretty much done for the time being. Ugh, excuse me. I decided to go ahead and try out the Hollywood Roast. Now, when it comes to this game, as well as the previous, as well as the previous one, the way that I kind of found out about this game was through a certain, a certain Irish uh, YouTuber that probably a lot of people may know of. Which is Jack Septicai. Uh, Jack apparently has done series of both both the first and second game, and I thought it was really cool and really kind of funny too. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get the game, get these games, you know, and give them a shot. 
Now, with the Hall of Rose, um, the one thing I know about this game is that it has workshop support, so you can kind of like make your own little character, and you can go to, you know, play around with it and stuff, and, um, I think it's like, I think you can also do like, like, I think you can, you can also give, it have like certain voices and stuff like that instead of having to use like an existing character in the game and yeah 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 and so on and so forth. And also this game features like a Hollywood type of cast of characters in a way. And um, it's kind of interesting to see in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway. What I'm going to do is because this is a test stream as well, because I'm, I'm going to put this in there like a test stream. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the start single star, and I'm going to go into a career. And it's probably, going to, it's probably going to load. There we go. So, so here, here are some of the characters that I've got so far. I'm still trying to figure out like what I have to do to get the remaining characters that are locked, but yeah. So what I'm going to do is probably do one or maybe two characters on stream to see how things play out. And this also be kind of, and if everything goes well, you know, just be say as a VOD and post it on my YouTube and stuff. And um, this will be like the start of me trying to play. Oh, sir, the insult, uh, the Hollywood roast. And thank you, Adam, for the host. Much appreciated. Hope your night's going well tonight. But, um, I think I may have played around with Dirty Potter and Chop Soup E, you know, it said that she's new, but I'm not quite sure exactly. I, I can't quite remember how these characters work as far as like you know how you know you've played them in the career mode so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Jane Blunt and uh, see what her thing is and sometimes, sometimes will happen. I'll take a stiff one martini that is God save the queen huh let's see Trained in the art of lethal combat, suaveness and cocktail shaken out by an elite team of top secret British womanizers, Jane Blunt became one of the most dangerous and I don't know if the fuck to say that word, spies to ever strut the halls of Britain's M6, MI6. She's never made a man who she couldn't destroy, especially in up close physical situations while deep undercover. And her weakness is God save the Queen. Whatever that means. But, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with Jane Blunt. You know, I'm gonna go through the career mode with her. And then, depending on how things go, I might do another character. We'll see. So, anyway, without further ado, lights, camera, action. Jane Blunt. Alright, so, I have some conditions, apparently. I win the rose, turn your co-stars, pry by at least 15 with one insult, and use a comeback. Alright, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. I'm going to just groan. <laughs> oh, God! I'm a pacifist. I on guard nothing. You mean you aren't going to fight me? Absolutely not. I am no barbarian. Oh, I know you aren't calling me a barbarian. That and much worse. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, your last movie. Hmm. The vote of the journal to Prepermission Teenage Boy. 
<laughs> Teenage boy. And. You may mispronounce my name. But. Anger of the Gods. Your last movie. Devoted a journal entry to prepubescent teenage boy and persistently mispronounces my name, but angered the gods. Wow. Ouch. Your last plastic surgery should do a movie with. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, your next movie. Receive the thumbs down. A thumb down from. Ah, damn it. I ain't gonna hit him with a dot, dot, dot. Cause I got nothing. Some bumbling buffoon is a carbon copy of your adopted kids. Oh. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Two thumbs down from your dad. Hmm. And <laughs> the bad cop, bad cop. Is both shaken and stirred. <laughs> both shaken and stirred. And what's discussing in spandex? Your next movie received a thumb down from your dad and the bad cop is both shaken and stirred and look disgusting in spandex. Carpet dress had an embarrassing cameo in your sidekick. Oh, wow. <laughs> Weak. Hmm. Hmm. It was your so-called career. This doesn't get. I was gonna take that, but I don't know. Get a rusty blunt sword. Rusty blunt sword. And. Still pose vines. And. Is a carbon copy of. The man with a small gun. Your so called career just doesn't get a rusty blunt sword and still posts vines and is a carbon copy of the man with a small gun. Your Beverly Hills mansion lied to the press about an angry Reddit user. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, your next movie. Hmm. Has an embarrassing cameo in. Cameo in your on screen romance.
And... Has never manscaped. And... Couldn't even teach kindergarten. Oop. And... Tweeted angrily... About... Oh! Oh no! I think I then goofed. Your next movie <laughs> had an embarrassing cameo in your on-screen romance, and has never manscaped, and couldn't even teach kindergarten, and tweeted angrily about. Mm, mm, uh, mm, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Body cops should do a movie with the bad cop. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with your last plastic surgery. I was crushed to death by. Cross the death by your sidekick. Cross the death by your sidekick. And has adult braces. And dies at the end. Only with my comeback for that. Your last plastic surgery was crushed to death by your sidekick and has adult braces and dies at the end. Now, where's my martini? Yeah. Ow. Get him. Chief was ruined by your next movie. Oh. Ooh. Turns out words can sting way worse than a sword. And that, good sir, is the smartest thing you've ever said. <laughs> wow. Yeah! Happy ending. You see the gold you see a golden parents, new comeback learned. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so now I got... Chop through E! Win, win the rose, don't let your pride get below 15. You get a 2x combo. Oh, I think I can probably... I think I can probably do at least two of those. But we'll see. What you doing? I was uh, meditating before I was uh, so rudely interrupted. Confucius says, who is really interrupted? The interrupter or the interruptee? I don't think he ever said that. Uh-huh. My uncle Confucius used to always say that. More like uh, confused, Shas. Hey! <laughs> hmm. Your step double. Was ruined by. A disgraced reality TV star. TV star. And you crashed a royal re royal wedding. Your stunt double was ruined by a disgraced reality TV star, and you crashed the royal wedding. Yeah! 
your red carpet or dress. We'll have to face an angry Reddit user. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's go with so called career. Hmm. This is a game, Genie. But... Can't take a real hit. Your so-called career uses a game genie, but can't take a real hit. <laughs> Your sister, blackmailed Kevin Smith's enormous jorts. Your sister. Uh, she's gonna take the last movie. It's a perfect metaphor for... You... Less powerful than Knock Up Frog. That should Your be good. Your sister is a perfect metaphor for you and is less powerful than a Knock Off Rolex. Your face <laughs> went to rehab because of your last movie. Now meditate on that for a while. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Your next movie. Um. Was run by. <laughs> your dog. And dog and an angry Reddit user still pulls vines. And Woody Allen's copy breath. The worst version of a forgotten child star. Your next movie was ruined by your dog. And an angry Reddit user still posts vines. And Woody Allen's coffee breath is a worse version of that forgotten child star. Now, where's my martini? Your mom is as stylish as a low budget softcore. Now exit my dojo. Oh. Hmm. 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 Your sister. Ah, damn! I was gonna get that. There's only two. two. The last tragic surgery. The surgery and put it angry about the man with the small gun.
Um, is less powerful than the Forgotten Child Star. Your sister devoted a journal entry to your last plastic surgery and tweeted angrily about the man with a small gun and is less powerful than that forgotten child star. Supurinka do bonsai creepings, Oba. Jona his humid undercarriage. But watch yourself because that's seriously racist. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Your uncle is a wise man. How do you know his last name was Wiseman? I'm out of here. That was something. You'll come back learn more golden parrots. Noise. Alright, let's see. We'll no more than first. Win the roast. Win with no more than eight install exchanges. Ooh, that might be tough. You hurt your co star's pride by at least 25 with one insult. Hmm. This sounds like it could be interesting. Excuse me, I asked for Rhodesian glacial fed spring water. What is this swill? I'm not your assistant, I'm your co-star. Ah, my apologies. You must be ugly bystander number three. And you oh. must be a very insecure and mean person. Do you know who I am? You can't speak to me like that. There's more where that came from, buddy. Really? Hmm. Your mom. Hmm. Kind of resembles. <laughs> Your dog. And and was cast as cast as the gorilla formerly known as Rambe. And I'm good for that one. Your sister is your ex and transforms into back acne. Wow. Ooh. Cool. Your mom kinda resembles your dog and was cast as the primate formerly known as Harambe. Hmm. Hmm. Your adopted kids. String of CGI character in <laughs> your face. Eh, yeah, sounds better than nothing, I guess. Your therapist and you emptied an entire clip on a snarky insult. Wow! Woof! Your adopted kids strangled a CGI character in your face. Damn. Oh, got two. Hmm. Those are adopted kids. Huh. Kill all 
all your family, oh god. <laughs> And are less powerful than and Princess Diana's ghost. Let's come back for that. Your adopted kids killed all of your family and are less powerful then. Princess Diana's ghost. Now, where's my martini? Ah! Ah! Your character got beauty secrets from your financial portfolio. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. hmm. Uh, you're dead. Ah, I was thinking about trying to get that. As a fetish for... Oh! I ain't gonna get that, do it! For... Spaceship dog fight with flint flares. Is. But ah! your last plastic surgery. Can't grow a beard. Your dad has a fetish for a spaceship dogfight with lens flares, but your last plastic surgery can't grow a beard. Yeah. Oof. Your next movie emptied an entire clip on a shorter version of Benedict Cumberbatch, but it was cast as oh. a desperate cash grab. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Your mom. Huh. That's really needs acting lessons. But. Turns out to be. Not to be some hipster indie film. Your mom <laughs> desperately needs acting lessons, but turns out to be some hipster indie film. Now, where's my martini? Your red carpet dress is yet another reboot of Hans Zimmer's epic score and cut. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Your character. Inspired by the room. And room and got cancer is being exposed to your ex and three dangling about your mom. Your character was inspired by the room and got cancer after being exposed to your ex and tweeted angrily about your mom. Gumbo! And a roast. 
Your on-screen romance was made of you, and this is the whole story. <laughs> Ugh. Turns out you're all smaller and dumber in person. They'd say the camera adds 10 IQ points. I've been living a lie. It's okay. We'll fix you in post. Wow. All right, let's see. Ah, I got three. All right. Win the roast. Get a two combo. Use at least three comebacks. Hmm. I can see two of those being a possibility, but the third one is kind of eh. You can't be here. Red carpets are strictly for A-list film stars. E-list? I said A-list, you moron. Not E. Well, then why isn't your mother here? Excuse me? She starred in a film of mine just last night, and she was definitely naughty. Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh... Your ex. Hmm. Geeks out in Golden Girls with. A man bun. And. This funny premiere went straight to video. Your ex geeks out on golden girls with a man bun. And this phony premiere went straight to video. <laughs> ah, your dog got beauty secrets from a Petulant teen mom. Uh your last plastic surgery. Stretch one, stretch one movie into a trilogy. And... That's all but forgotten. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Last plastic surgery stretched one movie into a trilogy and has all but forgotten. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Your character got cancer after being exposed to this glamorous <sighs> facade. It's even sadder than this place. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Your iconic costume. Hmm. Turns out to be a creepy resident teenage boy. <laughs> teenage boy. And Fights up with a wire harness and has all but forgotten Jonah Hills and a comeback.
Your iconic <laughs> costume turns out to be prepubescent teenage boy and fights with a wire harness and has all but forgotten Jonah Hill's humid undercarriage. Now, where's my martini? <laughs> Your stunt double was spotted watching. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Oh. Hmm. Your so called career. Mixed out Golden Girls with uh oh, oh. ouch. Man was a small gun. Yeah, there we go. Your last movie and your on-screen romance blackmailed this glamorous facade. Oh. Ooh. Your so-called career geeks out on golden girls with the man with a small gun. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure not to get to me. Uh, your character. Oh. It's all but forgotten. You're a therapist. And other than was made of damsel in distress and the walking talking happy meal toy. Your character has all but forgotten your therapist and was made of a damsel in distress and is a walking, talking, happy meal toy. Oh, your mentor is the uglier Olsen twin. And trust me, I've been around the block. <laughs> Uh, your stunt double. That's adult braces. And... Makes the audience sick. Yeah. A stain ridden casting couch and your dad and a drawn on beauty mark transform into a failed video game adaptation. Oh. Your stunt <laughs> devil has adult braces and makes the audience sick. Now, where's my martini? <laughs> oh, Ouch. Hmm. Ooh, that's close. Your therapist. Oh. 
has an affair with this phony premiere and has all but forgotten Mr. Brownfinger but your favorite director is rapidly decomposing and then we'll come back your therapist <laughs> had an affair with this phony premiere and has all but forgotten Mr. Brownfinger but your favorite director is rapidly decomposing. Now, where's my martini? Wow. Oh, what did kids lie to the press about your face? I've been seven years itching to say that. Wow. Oh, cliffhanger. I think this is the first hmm. time I ever gotten one of these in this game. Full spoils on Facebook. And that's right, you ended. And so, so and. I'll see myself out. Damn. Nobody indeed, by all means. Stay. Someone has to vacuum. I got deflated. Yes, <sighs> I go. You can't be here. Red carpets are strictly for A-list film stars. B-list? I said A-list, you moron. Not E. Well, then why isn't your mother here? Excuse me? She starred in a film of mine just last night. And she was definitely naughty. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Your favorite director. Aww. Was flooded at the after part and that's party with this glamorous facade. And Turns out to be a cross-eyed villain. Your favorite director was spotted at an after-party with this glamorous facade, and turns out to be a cross-eyed villain. Wow! Out! Your last movie is. Constantly confused by a star studded gala. Oh. Oh. Hmm. You're a therapist. Turn out to be a murderer. Um, 
Let's see in a vegan festival. And blackmailed this phony premiere. Your therapist turned out to be the murderer and was seen at a vegan festival and blackmailed this phony premiere. sister is a carbon copy of a dusty red carpet. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Your face. Hmm. Was written and directed by Your sidekick. Ooh. What's it? It's not your sidekick. But. Sitting gallivating with. Fake shark. Your face. Was written and directed by your sidekick. But was seen gallivanting with a fake shark. Uh-oh. Uh hmm. Your ex... Oh, thank you for all this opportunity. Your ex. Geek saw Alan Golden Girls with Steve Ridden casting couch. But is it another re is it a reboot of your next movie? Your ex. Geeks out on golden girls with a stain ridden casting couch. But is yet another reboot of your next movie. No. Oh, Steve Buscemi's <laughs> milky thighs had an embarrassing cameo in your mom. And that's not just the medication talking. <laughs> Oof. Your face. Hmm. With Rhea because of... Your dog. Dog. Uh, and... Yeah, then we would have Her Majesty. Your friends <laughs> went to rehab because of your dog. And is yet another reboot of Her Majesty. I'm a secret agent, but that's no secret. The royal family is a perfect metaphor for hordes of paparazzi. And trust me, I've been around the block. Oh. 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 Hmm. 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 You're dead. Constantly confused by your on screen romance.
but oh, that's about this is a game genie and cut. Your dad is constantly confused by your on-screen romance, but uses a game genie and cut. Wow. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad. Took her out of the thing. Oh. Forgotten lines. Looks like I just got bumped to the A-list. Uh, fine. You can stay. Just don't let it go to your head. Your 15 minutes are almost up. Wriggle in time. Continue. Alright, so... Yeah, I kind of figured I was probably going to be on just one. That's what I was trying to say. Alright. So I know I said that I was going to probably do at least two characters, but I think I might just do one character maybe, and then I'll call out, call out a stream, and maybe, maybe I'm, and I may pick this up again next time or something. I don't know, but um, we're going to end things off with this character right here, so let's talk all. F. Parker, CFO. End of the line, Skidmark. Your career and your funding just dried up. But you could find a summer's worth of blockbusters with all that money. And still have some left over for loaded nachos. But sharing is for dirty hippies. God only knows what deplorable things you've done to make it this far in show business. Watch out, Tinkerbell. I'm just getting started. Oh boy. Hmm. Your sidekick. Hmm. Will be found and killed by Liam Neeson. And fell for a pyramid scheme. Your sidekick will be found and killed by Liam Neeson and fell for a pyramid scheme. Your mom wow. laundered money through your character. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Your ex. Laundered money through. Your therapist. I ain't got, I ain't got much nothing. Your ex laundered money through your therapist. Oh. Oh. Your last movie transforms into Jimmy Fallon's phony laugh. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Uh, your financial for por portfolio. Wired cash to your ex.
an angry Rick should do a movie with a terrible elevator pitch. Just look at the numbers. Your financial portfolio. My cash to X. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Oh, I got six out of that, huh? Hmm. You. Made less money than. Some bumbling buffoon. Come back. You need less money than some bumbling buffoon. And that's from Reliable Intel. Yeah! Wow! Your Beverly Hills mansion was cast as Robert Pattinson's wistful stare. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Your dad. Hmm. Damn, I was going to use that. Turned out to be the murderer. Uh, and... And... Was really to be the next Bond girl. Your dad turned out to be the murderer and was rumored to be the next Bond girl. Wow! wow. This dirty cash pile turns out to be your sidekick, but you didn't read the script. Your sister. Just the those millions to the luxurious mountain. And Dies at the end. And is on parole. Your sister owns millions to this luxurious mountain. And dies at the end. And is on parole. Now, where's my martini? Yeah, and rubber swords went straight to video. Oh. Oh. So that's, looks like my financing just came through <sighs> after all. No, now I'll have to sell my gold-plated tank. I'm sure you'll be fine. You are underestimating my crippling nacho addiction. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that was part one of Oh Sir, The Hollywood Roast, where I did the tournament mode with Jane Blunt. I guess we'll watch the, uh, the credits and see how things go out, but that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I know I was going, I know I said I was going to try and do, um, Maybe two, but I figured I'd just probably just do one since this is also kind of like a test stream and stuff like that. But I don't know. 
maybe next time I'll do another character or something. Or like maybe two characters, I don't know. I'll think of it, I'll think of things and stuff how, how time goes, but anyway. But everything seems to have went out pretty well. I mean, even though I did get like one defeat, but like the stream came along pretty good, it seems. And I'm, ha and I'm, and I'm glad. So now I can be able to actually do this series and try to see if I can do everything on it before I do like anything else. I do hope to like maybe get every character unlocked and maybe get you know go through the, the tournament or career mode in this case with everyone. Then I may. I don't know, I may do like the work, like workshop characters, or I may try and see about doing some online with either this game or the, the Insult Simulator and go from there. But, but I don't know. But this was a nice little debut for uh, this game. <sighs> Hopefully, one day I can get one of my, a couple of my friends to uh, do some on either this game or the first one. But we'll see. to the hour and eight mark to see if there's anything else. If not, then I'll hit the back button. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything else. New goodies unlocked. Alright, let's see if we can find out what I got. Oh, I got the, uh, I got this character. So maybe, just maybe, uh, next stream I do of this game, I might try this character out and see how things go with him. <sighs> but, that, but that was fun. I, I, I like that. And I hope everyone else, had, I, I hope everyone else enjoyed it too. Um, give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna do my schedule and then my outro, and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna raid anyone, because, for one, I don't know if it was on at this time, but I'll think about it. But, um, this was a special little stream of Oh Sir, the Hollywood Roast, where I tried out the game for the first time on stream. And I played the career. I played the career mode with the character Jane Blunt. Now, if everything goes well, then later today I'm gonna to be doing another stream where I'm gonna try and play more of Alien Splatter Redux um, and see about maybe finishing up that game because we're kind of getting we're kind of getting close to the end and uh, stuff like that, and then. Uh, since my, and since my friend, who is also one of my mods, is not going to be streaming tomorrow night, I may do a special late night stream around midnight my time. But, um, if you enjoy what you saw today, and you're watching this on Twitch, give the channel a follow, and become a fellow Rumble Maniac today. If you want to help me out just a little bit more, you can help spread the, the, the channel around, and help me get to that 
uh, fit status goal or partner, which I was going to come first. Um, I do have a current goal on my Twitch, which is if I reach 50 followers, I will attempt to do a live stream let's play of Duke Nukem 1 on DOSBox. So if you want to see me play the original Duke Nukem game, you know, there's a little something to shoot for. Whether you're following, you know, already or not, you know, there's a little something, there's a little something, something for you. Or if you know someone who might like that kind of content, or anything else that I do here on the channel, you know. Again, any, any sharing around my channel in any sort of way, you know, is much appreciated. I am currently one goal away from the 50 follower goal, and if I reach 50 followers before my next time, before the next time I stream, then I will do Dirt Nukem 1 on DOSBox Live. But, you know, until, but until then, you know, that's kind of like my plan. But, um, if you're watching this later when this gets published on YouTube, whenever that may be, and, uh, I'll see if I can push a little thing on the Twitch chat. Hold on. Let's see. But if you're watching this later, once it gets published on YouTube, uh, give the channel a sub, which is just like following you on Twitch. Give the video a like, leave a nice comment down below. Not to mention to hit the bell notifications, that way you never miss an upload from me. Whether it be a thing I do exclusively for YouTube, or if I post one of my past streams up on, up on my YouTube, so that way you can go to comment, you know, with something that you can no longer do on Twitch for whatever reason. And also, if you have a Twitter account, you can follow me at Mr. Rumble Roses to know what's going on from things I post to my YouTube, or Twitch, or any kind of updates I do in general. So, until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, take care everybody.